Hello, everybody. What's up? Hi, sister. Hi, happy Kathy. Hi, the little. Do you guys have your pillows and your blankets? You're welcome for these. I love you. Thank you for the talk yesterday. Um, we're going to start in a couple minutes. Probably at 6.33. So if you want to set up everything, just make sure you have two pillows, two blankets. Grab some water. Um, whatever will make you comfortable. If you are following, you are so essential. <laughs> oh, I love you. I love you guys. You guys are the best. Tonight's going to be nice and relaxed, full body stretches. And then we'll start in two minutes. I never know what to do during these parts. Love you, happy. If you're getting a playlist set up, there's playlist 5-5. Five five. That's the playlist we'll be doing tonight on Spotify. It's restorative. It's all, all the way down at the bottom. What's up, Caitlin? Just one more minute. My Hawaiian tree back there. The plants are loving. Hi! I'll just start in one minute. Two pillows, two blankets. I did leg day today. And my glutes and my hamstrings are like hurting. So we're gonna, we're gonna work them out. Torso more so. All right, so it is time. We are going to start today um, on our back with the bolster just underneath our knees. So just laying down nice and comfortably. Make sure my it's not crooked. Nice. All right, cool. So with the bolster underneath your knees. Your blanket, sorry, I keep calling you a bolster. With your blanket underneath your knees, or pillows underneath your head, if you want, behind your head. So you're gonna lay back. Just make yourself as comfortable as possible. Tuck your tailbones underneath you, readjust the lower back. Tuck your shoulders underneath you, do the same thing there. Then bring your hands down by the sides with your palms face up. And first, just acknowledge the day that you've had so far. Was it an active day like mine was today? Was it a little slower paced? How do you feel physically in your body, in the shoulders, the neck, the hips, the lower back? your hands, your feet. What are your joints telling you? And then together we'll take a big breath in through the nose. Sip, 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 fill up your breath. Pause at the top, see if you can expand a little more. And then slowly exhale, release the breath. Inhale again, fills up the belly, the back, the heart space, the chest. And exhale, release the breath. 
Do this a couple more times on your own, just arriving in the space, arriving into your body, and into the practice tonight of restoring. Three more. One more breath in. All right, so slowly pull your knees into your chest. And we're going to take our hands on top of our knees. I want you to just move your knees around. Feel the big bones in the legs move inside of the hip girdle, just massaging out the pelvis and the lower back. And then make those circles in both directions so you're really just feeling out the hips, feeling out your bones and your legs. Take a big breath in. And a slow breath out. Let's do that again. One more breath in. And a slow breath out. All right, now take your pillows off to the left side of your body. And take your left leg long. Now move your blankets off to the sides just so they're out of the way. And you're going to hold on to your right knee. So your left leg is extended, right knee into the chest. Pillows off to the left side of the body. Circle your ankle a couple times. Go both directions. And then point and flex the toes just so we get that foot moving. All right, and then pulling the knee in closer, take a big breath. And on the exhale, draw the knee over so it's supported by your pillows. Now, if you're like me and you're a little tighter in your lower back tonight, then maybe you take your another blanket on top of your pillows and you find more support here so that you can really rest your right knee on the blankets or the pillows. Your hips are stacked and you can open your right arm to the right. Now, if you need to, just pull those things closer to your body to give you more support. Look over the right shoulder and soften into the pose. And so in this twist, just allow gravity to do its job and it, it will deepen the twist organically over time. What you need to do is focus on relaxing within it. So relax the muscles in your belly, relax your back, the glute. Feel the chest soften and open. Couple more breaths, just like this. And then we're going to do what we did the other night. So if you're more open in your hip, you can leave the pillows underneath your leg. And if you're a little tighter in your lower back, move the pillows out of the way. But I want you to keep your knee coming straight out of the hip and come onto your belly. Turn your head to face your knee. Left leg is straight. Right knee bent. Supported by pillows if you're open. And if you want just a little more, turn your head to look over at the left shoulder. And 
just relax. Feel the rise and fall of your chest, of your back. Soften your face. One more inhale. So if your head is turned the other way, just turn your head and look at your knee, if you will. <sighs> Thank you, right hip. And roll over onto your back again. So scoop that left arm underneath you. Take this gently, open back up. Pull both knees into your chest for a moment. All right, and then take your right leg nice and long. Keep your left knee in. Take your pillows over to the right side and take your blanket on top of that if you did for the other leg to support your twist. First, we'll start with the ankle movement, so just find your feet, left foot, circles, spread the toes. I love left ankle. <laughs> Point and flex. Big breath in. And twist. Find the place you can rest, where you can relax. Just breathe. Add just a hint of a smile to your lips. gravity with every exhale, pulling you closer, sinking deeper into the floor. Slow down your next breath in. And control the breath out. So taking that blanket out for everyone, just so you that you have a small support underneath your knee if you are taking it. Keep your left knee where it is. Just turn to face the floor So you're rolling onto your belly. Left knee is coming straight out of the hip. Right leg extended straight back. And then turn to face the right elbow. Or you can have your head face the knee. Again, just say hi to the left hip, the left side. Breathe into the shape you're creating.
five more breaths. Tipping yourself onto your back. <sighs> knees into chest. Just move both knees around for a moment. And then go the other way. All right, and then rock yourself gently up to seated. And we're gonna move into a tabletop position. So moving the blankets out of the way, the pillows out of the way. From here, so we'll make circles with our torsos. Just kind of work out your hips, your lower back, your shoulders. Go the other direction. All right, and then pausing in stillness, let's stick your tailbone up first, then dip the belly down, look up to the ceiling. Cow pose. Exhale, start with the tailbone round and press in the lower back, middle back, upper back. Inhale again, scoop the tailbone up, dip the belly down, look up. Exhale, round and press into the shoulder blades. Inhale. Exhale. Again, inhale. And exhale. One more time. In. And out. Take your right arm up towards the sky. Big breath in. Sweep it underneath your left arm. Relax your ear to the floor. Reach your left arm forward if you want to. Take your left hip back for a few breaths. Stay here. in front of your face. Take your right hand underneath the shoulder. Lift your left arm up towards the ceiling and then sweep your left arm under the right armpit. Relax the head to the floor and then maybe take your right arm forward. Take a couple breaths here. more deep breaths. Right hip goes back, right arm forward, elongate. your right hand in front of your face bring your left hand back underneath the shoulder and we're going to take a child's pose so if you need to you can take your blank or your pillow in between your knees and support yourself by pulling your hips back that way you can also take pillows underneath your chest if you want more support this way 
and and if you need a lot of support you can fold up your pillow about halfway and make it even taller for your child's pose so whatever you're feeling tonight, tonight I'm feeling without any support, really, just behind my knees. And then take a few deep breaths like this. Relax your elbows to the floor. Once your hands are set, just soften the arms. There's a slight rounding or a slight wrapping of your triceps down just so you feel your shoulder blades pull apart and your neck is nice and long. Now we're gonna take um, our blankets and we're gonna make one of our blankets nice and about the length of your mat or the width of your mat, excuse me. And you're gonna fold it up a couple of times so that it's a little bit taller, it's a little bit thicker. And then you're gonna bring your hands, palms up and child pose again, just a little more height added to the arm. you to walk your arms forward enough so you start to feel your spine open you can start to melt your heart towards the floor sticking the lower back up and keeping your collarbones open good you can have your forehead on the ground just like a child's pose or you can slowly start to bring your chin on the floor looking forward a couple deep breaths shoulders. I want you to bring yourself onto your right hip. All right, and then we're going to take one of our blankets and keeping it kind of more like a spaghetti noodle than a ravioli, if you will. Try to make your blanket nice and long, but also nice and tall. So mine's folded up lengthwise a couple of times. Right? And we're going to slowly come onto our right elbow, our right side. Right. So the blanket that you've rolled up is going to go right underneath your right armpit on the side of your rib cage. So we're going for a subscapular stretch. So at the bottom of your scapula is where you're going to find the bolster. If you need to, 
then you're like me, you're kind of open here. You can always fold up or arrange your blankets, maybe take another blanket layer on top to make it a little harder for your shoulder, a little deeper stretch for your body if you need it. But you should, once you lay down, we're gonna take our right arm straight back and our head to our bicep. And you should create a nice arch for the spine and a nice stretch for right underneath your armpit. Nice, and then you'll take your right knee and bring it in towards the chest. Take your left knee back. If this feels good, if not, keep your knees stacked. And now if you want, take your left arm up and overhead. Try to keep your shoulders stacked on top of each other. start to look up towards the sky for a moment then come back take your left hand down by the side one more breath Bring your left hand on top of your blankets. Press yourself up, bringing your knees together. And then you're gonna slowly move to your left hip. Take those blankets right underneath your left rib cage, right where your heart would be, the very bottom of your armpit. Like I'm gonna ball up mine, make mine a little taller so that my arc is a little more a little deeper and then you'll take your left arm just rest your left ear on the bicep take your knees together to start and your right hand down by the side hmm. take your top leg and pull it back that feels good to you If you want the most extended version, if you will let him go straight back. Breathe into your lung, expanding on the right side. Relax the face. Relax the jaw, the neck. side and stay here for a few breaths.
Press your right hand into the blankets. Lift yourself up nice and slow. Bring your knees together. All right, now we're going to move on to our back again. And take your blankets now like raviolis. Really sit them up tall if you can. One. And then we're going to come to supported bridge pose. So we basically just opened up our spine. Now we're going to lift, create some space for the upper back. So you lift your hips once you're on your back, lift your hips, slide your blankets underneath you so you're supporting your pelvis. Just scoot down this way. <laughs> Good. And we'll stay here for a couple breaths. Allow your feet to be hip distance. And the blankets, pillow supporting you. If you need more things underneath your hips to give you more of a stretch, if you need less, adjust. Adjust so that you are comfortable. Your hips above your head, your shoulders. Just give gratitude. Thanking your spine. pelvis. Let a smile creep into the lips. An easiness about the face. Just let your feet hang out. Drop your knees gently into your chest. Bring your feet down flat to the floor, one at a time. Lift your hips up, slide your blanket out un from underneath you, and slowly release to the ground. Gently pull the knees in, drop your knees to one side, press yourself up to seated, sitting nice and tall. All right, so I want you to take a pillow, and I want you to put it underneath your sit bones. So you're going to sit on top of a pillow. All right. And then we're going to scoop it down to the bottom of the playlist. Okay, so while you're sitting on top of the pillow, I want you to cross your shins. Have your right shin in front of your left shin. Try to cross in the middle of the legs. 
so that the calves are crossing right at the center, knees are almost coming out of the hips. Right, we're gonna sit tall, big breath in, and then just walk yourself forward. Relax the head, take a couple breaths like this. Soften the hips, soften the joints. Target the knees, the feet, your lower back. Melt into the poses over time. Slow down your breath. Lifting up, we're going to switch the cross so that the other leg is in front. Sit tall and walk it forward. Chest is opened, shoulders relaxed, head softened towards the floor. Collarbones open, hips pressing down, breath fluid, strong, consistent. Nothing matters but your breath in this moment right now. Lifting up the torsos, extend your legs straight forward and bring the pillows or a blanket underneath your knees. You can bring one, you can bring two, your choice. Then we'll sit tall, big breath in. Hold this here, point and flex the toes for a moment. Slightly bent, relax the head.
can keep your legs underneath the pillow. Just take your right foot over and take a gentle twist, seated. Inhale sits you taller. Exhale, squeeze in your belly. Switch. Left foot over. Twist to the left. take one more happy baby and then we'll rest so we'll grab the outer edges of our feet once you're down press your tailbone into the floor and just move from side to side you don't have to grab your feet if you want you can grab your um, ankles your calves the insides instead of the out and take a few breaths here in stillness into a tiny little ball. Thank yourself for showing up today onto your mat to become present in your body, to do something good both physically and mentally, spiritually for yourself. Big breath in. Squeeze, exhale. And then set yourself up comfortably for a Shavasana. Feet about as wide as your hips. Let your arms out by the sides, palms face up. And slowly settle in towards your Shavasana. Turning off any music if you have it. If you're joining us. Good. Alright, and then from here. I want you to settle in, close your eyes. Relax. Adjust anything you may need. Scratch your face one last time. Fix your blankets, your pillows. Fix a shirt or your hair. And once you are fully settled, let's take a big breath in through the nose. A big sigh out the mouth. <sighs> let's do one more. Inhale, fill it up. Exhale, get rid of it. <sighs> Good. Now just relax your jaw. Relax the forehead. Relax the eyebrows behind your eyes. Soften into the floor, into your mat. Relax the back of the neck, behind the eyes, your ears, your cheekbones. back of your neck. And move down the body and the shoulders, through the chest, into the bicep. Feel the body. 
body soften. Relax the hands, the fingertips. Feel it jump to the shoulder blades as it moves down your back, your spine, your hips. Feel it soften the thighs, the quads. Relaxing your knees, your kneecaps, through the calves, into the shins, the ankles, the feet. slow breath out. Sink a little deeper. Feel yourself get weightless. As if you could float away. start to come back into your body. Move your fingers and your toes gently. You're also more than welcome to stay exactly as you are if you're comfortable. If you're ready to, gently start to make your way up to a seated position. And we'll stay here at seated for another minute to just pause and sit in our body. Keeping this weightlessness, this effortlessness with you. Bring your hands together to your heart, bow your head. Namaste. 
Thank you so much for joining me for this restorative practice. Um, I'm going to try to save these videos and start posting them to my Instagram for later use. So um, hopefully you will see them again. All right. Love you guys. Um, and we will see you um, tomorrow. I cannot do yoga. I've got some appointments and a busy day. So I will see you soon. Oh, there's a thunderstorm in Idaho. How fun. <laughs> All right. Love you guys. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you soon.